There's something to be said for the woman that doesn't leave, that stays, even though he's proven time and time again that when liquor swells in his guts, raising his fist like a rock'em sock'em boxing match, he's gonna knock your block off, Darwin. If not every night, then maybe every other, because he's not always this way. Like just the other day, he kissed you on the forehead, said you were the master of blending green eyeshadow into black eyes. You should be a makeup artist. Watch you make those bad days disappear. Yeah. He's not always so bad, is he, darling? No, our lady fair stays convinced that he can change her, that he loves her, she loves him. Check off all the excuses why she can't break herself free. Play the victim violin into an orchestra of daytime talk shows telling yet another woman's, but I couldn't leave him, even though he hit me. That ended in her memorial services. Her funeral flower arrangements prettier than anyone that he never bought her. Now she gets to smell roses for the first and last time. Better than that cotton candy stuffed into your caved-in nasal cavity so sweet, it'll rot your teeth out. Better than beating him to the punch unless he catches the side of her jaw just right. Shouldn't have talked back. Now look what you made him do. Can't believe you made him do that to you. Oh, you're so pretty when you cry over how hard he loves you. But we've seen the Song and Pony show before, haven't we? When battered women take the stage, they're full of courage for what they survived. Brave for walking away, opening a door that should have never been locked behind them in the first place. Now my grandmother taught me, with a shot of Irish whiskey in her coffee, if someone hits you, you uppercut that bastard square in the face, you knock that son of a bitch's block off. And yeah, he may try to hit me back, but I will be fucking damned if he won't be missing important parts before I go down. <laughs> Ladies. Take responsibility for your control. Sweetheart, pack a bag, just go. No more nights crying yourself to sleep saying this will never happen again. This was the only time. This was the last time. This will be the last time. Words that ring sharp and true as any knuckle splitting a lip, they're not as easy to say as punches are not easily forgotten. No more staying. Loving him more than you valued creating a life outside of his ring. Darling, there are no referees for this fight. He's a raised fist, a wooden club of brute force. The sound of your skull cracking across the kitchen countertop, finding its final rest splattering across the tile. You are now a statistic, written in caution tape, a chalk outline of his shadow for the loved ones you've left behind, his victory story, told around the table while people memorialize just how rare a beauty you were, how strong you were, how many hits it took to take you down, bury you deep in your rock'em sock'em robot coffin and fucking match. <laughs>